What is up, guys? Uh, this is Darklight Reactions coming back at you with another one today, guys. So, we are checking out the game called One Bit Adventure, and this is going to be like a 10 to 15 minute video. I'm going to show you guys everything you can do in the game, talk about the game, and I will link it down below. Uh, it's, it's free to play on Steam, and it's a lot of fun. So, Here's what One Bit Adventure is, okay? One Bit Adventure is a casual turn-based roguelike uh, where you adventure as far as possible to level up and battle against rogue monsters. Your primary goal in One Bit Adventure is to survive and loot. Choose from a, var a variety of classes and build the ultimate class. Uh, it has very positive reviews on Steam, and it's only a year old. It was released August 19th of last year by... Uh, developer and publisher galactic slice um so i will link it down below uh it's categorized as roguelike dungeon crawler rogue light rpg and uh a rebirth type of game so all right guys if you're new here i'm dark light i make gaming and reaction videos of all kinds i play all sorts of games on my uh, channel as well as react to all styles of music please consider subscribing guys we're almost to 500 subscribers we just hit 400 another 100 man and uh we'll, we'll be at 500 which is my first goal and then we'll be at a thousand so consider supporting me it's free slap that like button subscribe share the video check the uh like i said check out my social links and grab your guys uh self some merch uh i have hats i have t-shirts that link will be down below as well as the game if you want to download it and try it is available on google play it's also available on the app store so with that being said guys uh you can also play it mobile all right guys so here we go so this is um the, the login page right uh, every day, you can log in and get uh, daily diamonds, as well as a daily reward. Um, and every time you claim those, you get VIP experience. The higher VIP, the better diamonds, and the better rewards that you can earn. And it doesn't cost anything. You just have to play the game. Um, you can purchase VIP. It does have in-game purchases. You can buy a bunch of stuff if you want. Um, but I don't really see the need to. Uh, you earn diamonds by doing quests and everything like that. So I'm saving up for a Halloween pack here. So I can try to do a Halloween stream. Um, yeah. All right. Let's 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 continue the adventure. Start my adventure. All right. Let's get close so I can... All right. So when you spawn in, you'll be in, I think, an area like this, right? You can go here. This guy here, basically, if you see these guys, they, they're skill per they're a skill person. Um, you can use uh, coins to unlock skills. Uh, so I am going to buy this one here, and I don't think I can learn anything else. Let me see. I have 8,000. Can I learn sh Shield Bash? Nope. Um, I've reached my skill limit, so I can't, uh, I can't learn anything else, um, which is okay. Uh, I do not mind at all, so we're going to go with that. Now, in order to move, you can either click the screen with your mouse and move around, or you can use the WASD keys. I like the WASD keys, honestly. Um, you have quests each day that you can do. Um, so, uh, it's pretty cool. I have, a, I have a quest timer right now. I can't accept uh, any, any timer or anything like that. But, as I said, you can do quests every day, which gives you wisdom, um, which gives you, like, it's almost like a battle pass thing it gives you experience that you can unlock different rewards and then in order to fight this is literally all you do okay so over here is your equipment area here oh hold on let me yeah you guys can see it um i'm kind of blocking it so hold on let me let me move just a tad out the way i'll move down here uh actually you know what we'll go over here this will be better yeah there we go you don't really need to see my inventory because you can see most of it. So, all right, there we go. Now you guys should be able to see. So, um, over here you have all your base skills, your 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 stuff, uh, and you're probably wondering, well, how do you level this up? Well, when you level up, you you click skills right here, and you'll get points. Right. You also have your equipment. It shows your character, all your stats, everything you need to know. Down here is the event pass. Here's quests. You can go home here. Um, mind you, your progress does save, so your level saves, but everything you restart back down here when you, uh, you know, go home. I'll show you that uh, feature in a minute. So when you see an enemy, right, the number here is the amount of steps I've taken. Um, so all I do is that. All I'm doing is pressing up on the enemy to kill it. Now there are hidden trees that you just saw that, att that attacked. Um, yep, there's one. Every time you kill an enemy, you get experience, some gold. Sometimes they drop some items that you can pick up. 
Um, right now they have an event going, so I'm going to pop this balloon, which gives me pies and gives me confetti. Now, confetti is really cool because you can use the confetti, right? And, you, oh my god, I have so much stuff. I hope I can find uh, a vendor to sell this stuff to. Jeez. Uh, you can use confetti. You click on it, and then watch what happens. Enemy explodes and confetti com comes out. It's actually pretty cool. Um, I like how simple yet fun the game is. It is rebirth because you can actually um, like start o your, the, the game over. Um, you can start a new adventure. If you start a new adventure, you lose basically all your progress. I think you do keep some stuff. I have not started a new adventure yet. I have have this character. But once you get to 100, you can rebirth. You can also make potions, which I really do like. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bigger potion. So you craft that. Um, you get keys. You can get keys from doing stuff. Oh, can I use this one more time? Nope. All right. Um, keys you can get from vendors or from, like, level bosses. Um, so you can unlock doors to get other stuff. Uh, yeah. There's that. Now, mind you, once you get, like, what I mean here is, as you see here, you can't go back down. That's the only thing. Um, you, you have to move forward as... as you know much as you can so what I like to do is just run I focus I watch my health I have all my stuff down here you know in case uh, and it gets harder the more steps you take the stronger the enemies get over uh, eventually you're gonna be fighting enemies that uh, poison you um, enemies that can one-shot you it all depends on how many steps you take now you can take any amount of steps that you want it will start you back down at you know, you know the skill person there, and you'll keep your current upgrades. The only time your progress completely resets, like I said, is when you start a brand new adventure and create a new character. Otherwise, um, you can, like I said, you can rebirth. Um, and when you do that, it gives you the ability to get some like special stuff to be able to permanently upgrade your character, which will help you get farther. And that's basically the goal of this game: is you know go as far as you can, last as long as you can. Um, start back at the beginning, level your character up as much as you can, do it all over again, rebirth, and then, you know, again, and then keep going and go even further. I don't know if there's any record to how many people have, uh, you know, like how many steps people have taken, but like I said, I like this. I like the retro music in the background. Uh, I like how simple it is. You can go full screen with this game, which I do like. Um, so you can, like, make sure all this stuff is out the way if you want. Um, there's, like I said, so much stuff to do. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I'm having a blast playing this game, along with Dawnlands. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. Dawnlands is, is a combination of Genshin Impact meets Minecraft. Uh, like cooking from Minecraft and Genshin, you can cook various recipes, do various things to you know strengthen your character. Uh, you can also build your own home and your your own fort and build all of your supplies. You make all of your weapons. It's honestly really fun and engaging, um, and I love it. I love it a lot. Um, so I think it, it, for people that love Genshin, for people that love you know anime, for people that love Minecraft, it's it's a perfect thing. Now every time you pass a, a line like this, you get a new upgrade. You keep the upgrades. See, you keep an upgrade uh, for as long uh, you know your for this adventure. Ending an adventure will reset upgrades. Um, so, yeah. There we go. I get more experience, which is cool. Helps me level up faster. Alright. Okay. Now, in order to heal, you can either go in your inventory over here and scroll down and find the item. Or you can click on it. So I'll wait a little bit longer. Um, and once I get under 3,000 health, I will use one of my other potions. I always, my goal is I always try to go till I find a vendor so I can at least sell my items to the vendor. Um, and then I'll buy a bunch of potions from that vendor for the next run. And I will end it right there and then keep going. That way I can stack up on potions. Now, as you guys can see, I'm pretty low. Because uh, the last few times before making this video, I did some long runs. I think the farthest I got to was like 2,000 steps. Uh, and then I was just getting my butt handed to me, so I had to stop, you know. It was miserable. Alright, I'm under, so then you click the potion, and bam, you, I'm healed. Now this is a, a bigger potion. Um, you can make these bigger potions in those pots that you saw me find. 
Um, yay, here we go. I can show you guys how this works. I am super excited. So, that guy up there is a vendor, and that uh, that fire pit up there is like a save space. So, let me kill him. Okay, let me do this. Uh, I'm going to go to sell, and I'm going to sell everything that I don't need. I have this equipped, so... Uh, no, do I? No, I don't. So, we're going to sell that. Um... We're going to sell the cheese. Uh, no, I'm going to hold on to the cheese, actually, for a request. Sometimes you have to gather, like, resources. So I'm going to hire the, uh, I'm going to save those. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the mallet because the damage on the mallet is crazy. I don't need the mana potions because I don't have any mana because I'm a warrior, so I don't use any spells as of right now, at least. I don't know if that's something I can learn. Um, I lied. I'm going to keep the cleaver instead. So, there we go. Oh, it's locked. Oh, I kept it for the knockback. Okay, so I am going to hold on to that because knocking back enemies is actually a, a, a good thing. So, yeah, we'll keep it going. We'll sell. Uh, is that what I have equipped? Yes, it is. Uh, right? Yes, it's equipped. Uh, sell that. Sell. 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 Sorry, guys. I have to make room. And I need money. Sheesh. Okay, that's what I have equipped. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're finally getting there. Maybe. Alright. Now I'm going to buy a bunch of potions real quick. So, I have 20. I'm just going to buy, you know, 10. 20. 30. Right? Uh, I don't ever go under 10,000. Um, just because if you purchase skills or certain upgrades or items, it costs a lot of money. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right, there's one more, right? Bam, there we go. Now I have 70 potions. Now, what I like about this, this is a campfire, okay? You heal your health, whatever you're at, uh, and you have a choice. You can end your adventure, you can save and go home, or you can resume adventure and continue to go. I'm going to save and go home to show you guys the effect I was talking about. So, as you see, uh, we are back here, right? I got an achievement. Hold on. Claim. Achievement gives you gold, and sometimes the achievement gives you uh, diamonds, and sometimes rare items. Um, so then, I'll click on this again. I'll resume adventure, right? Now I'm back here, as you see. I still have all of the gold that I had. I still have my items. I still have my character level. I just started basically back at, you know, here. And again, what I like about this is it saves your steps too. Now, it only saves if you, it only saves, mind you, it only saves if you save at a bonfire. If you exit out of this when you don't, you know, and, and you don't save, your progress will be lost for whatever run you made. You have to make sure you save at a bonfire. Otherwise, your progress will be gone. So make sure that when you're playing, if you got plans to go somewhere, that you're taking the time to be, you know, get to a bonfire as quickly as you can. Now, as you see, each character has a weakness. My character is afraid of spiders. So every now and then, my character gets in what's called a panic, and he malfunctions as like that. Like, I can't control him. But I don't mind it, you know. So now I have him again. And I can buy more potions. Like that. Uh, I don't know, think I picked any weapons or anything up that I don't need. Uh, actually, oh, this is equipped, yeah. Um, those are, yep, boom. This item's equipped, this is equipped. Okay, uh, sell that, and there we go. Uh, let me go down to the confetti, and I'm going to equip all the confetti. Like I said, I this is like nostalgia to me. I love the one-bit adventure game. I think it's, you know, badass, in my opinion. Um, I like how fun it is to play. I like how simple it is, like I said. Um, there is no controller play as far as I know. So, unfortunately for you guys, um, you know, you, you can't use a controller. Uh... Now, this guy is a blacksmith. He's able to upgrade your stuff. You need, not only sometimes do you need, um, like, I'm going to increase my tomahawk limit. Um, you need these, right? I have seven. Oh, I have 11 out of seven. So, you need materials. I 
I don't have enough. I do have enough gems though, so we're going to use gems. Okay. Now, I don't want to upgrade anything else because I don't think I'll have enough. I, I do not. So you can upgrade your other equipment if you want. Uh, let's see if I can upgrade this. I can. So we will upgrade that. Let's do Endure, which will help my character take damage. And then what I do is I save. You can increase your limit up to, I think, 5 or 6. Um, so uh, I'm going to save that. And then in order to get those resources that you just saw me use, you have to go in this cave. Now, because I'm recording this video and I don't want this to be an hour-long video, I'm not going to go into this cave. But these caves here are where you go to fight extremely hard bosses. There are no uh, bonfires or, you know, campfires there. So... If you go in, you better go to all the way to the end, get out, and continue to go. And it can take a while, especially if you have to stop and heal. So uh, I'm going to avoid that for now um, because, like I said, I'm not trying to make a, a full-length playthrough video. I'm trying to just show you guys what you can do here. I'm sure we're already uh, you know, up there in, in minutes-wise. Um, so let me try to real quick get through this, guys. Uh, in the meantime, like I said, if you're liking what you're seeing, check the link in the description down below um, and grab this game for yourself. It's completely free. It does not cost any money. Um, you can invest in this if you want. That is completely up to you. You you know, you can buy like the premium packs and, and other stuff. You can buy gems and help support the developer. Um, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, apparently I just completed a quest. What the heck? I have no idea. I'm going to be real. I don't know what just happened. I don't. It said I completed something. I don't know what I did though. <gasps> More confetti. Yay. Alright guys. I'm almost done hopefully. Hopefully I can get to an area here. And I don't really worry about my health too much. Um, because you once you get the hang of the game. You can start realizing that uh, what you do. Uh, what, like what bosses and, and, and things you're going to fight will ultimately affect your health in what way. I'm normally okay and don't need to heal until I get around like 260 to 270 in step wise. Uh, sorry about that. My Someone sent me a message. I'm going to have to go check it out here in a minute. Um, come on. I really need a bonfire. I would like to save and go back please. Um, I would really like to save and go back. All right, let's keep going, guys. Uh, I'm still good. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. There's uh, somebody else, but I'm still stuck. Son of a bitch. Excuse my language, guys. I'm sorry. But I'm, I'm like, hardcore trying to get to a bonfire. Because I, I want to save the adventure and be done. Um... Ah, there's one right up there. Yay! Alright. We're all... Video's almost done, guys. Alright, there we go, guys. So, this is going to be the end of this video. Um, if you guys, like I said, if you guys like what you see, be sure to check the uh, link in the description. Go download this yourself from Steam. Um, and if you're a mobile user, you can play it on mobile as well. Um, I I have no, no complaints at all. Oh, okay. You could do Daily Quest 2 to get gems, so see what I mean? If you do gems every single day, 7 days a week, that's 15 times 7. You eventually can save up to get a bunch of different stuff. Uh, as you guys see, I have to dungeons enter, doors unlocked, steps taken, total kills. I mean, it's so easy to earn gems, you don't have to spend money. Because then you can use, the, like, daily login, look at this. 1,000 coins, 15, 2,000, this, and then this. 50 diamonds, coins, 2 hours, double experience. That's awesome, okay? That is absolutely awesome. So, definitely check this game out, guys. Um, super awesome, fun, you know, little cute game here. Uh, you can create multiple different characters. You can do different, you, can, you know, you can 
play is, is whatever you want. Uh, build your character how you want. Equip your character with what you want. It's super fun. I highly recommend it. Uh, anyways, guys, peace out.